Bureau, this is Sol. Uh, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of June 20th through the 26th, 2016. Uh, so let's get right into your messages, uh, Scorpio. For some Scorpions, <laughs> Scorpions, I'm sorry, that I'm reading for, uh, you have the potential of dealing with the energy of the Four of Wands in the reverse. So the Four of Wands showing up in the reverse uh, for some of you is overcoming some sort of uh, possible competition uh, with others. Also, too, the four of wands represents uh, home life for me. So I'm feel, feeling that since it's showing up in the reverse past, issues may have been, um, you know, for some of you dealing with unsettling uh, affairs of the home, you know, within the family structure, something going on that was un unsettling. This energy is related to fire signs, so it could be directly um you know, related to Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, male or female. Now, it could be a Scorpio or two that I'm reading for. That is, a, you know, in a relationship with a fire sign or dating a fire sign. Uh, and this energy shows up that there was something going on that was unsettling with the fire sign related to you. Also, too, uh, because it represents uh, home life and, and uh, relocation and stuff. Some of you may have been on a quest to change uh, your living status, relocate. It's like an ending of uh, having to uh, move. Some of you may have moved. And this is the completion of that move. It could be the completion of finalizing a deal on a purchase of a home or a, you know, townhouse, condo, whatever. Could be that you moved into an apartment or something, something to do with relocating and possibly changing residence with this uh, showing up. This is the completion. It's the completion in the upright, but it's still uh, showing up in the reverse. So it's to me, I'm getting the message that it's already something that's taken place for a few of you that I am reading for. OK. All right. Yesterday, going back to uh, two weeks now, we have the seven of disc. Uh, in the upright position. So this is uh, about finances. So some of you may have had some sort of increase in finances related to your work that you do. Uh, and then also to uh, I, I do see that some of you may have been sort of like generous and extended money to family or friends. Um, there's this emphasis of there could have been um, for some of you some sort of gambling going on and also too it could be some sort of you know investments in terms of uh, finances some of you may have dealt with with the seven of uh, this showing up in the upright with a couple of co-workers that were you know unsettling I say it's, you know, that's the energy that I'm picking up because if it was an even card like the six, six of disc, then the message wouldn't have come through. The message is coming through that some of you may have been dealing with issues at work involving others. Uh, this energy could relate to Earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female doesn't necessarily have to be. But these individuals may have Earth sign elements in their um, chart, but it's in the passing, but it's still part of your reading. Uh, and then I feel that uh, some Scorpios that I'm reading for are building upon their finances, are sort of like securing their financial positions for whatever it is um, that they set their goals for. So this is a good thing to get. Seven of this, eight of this, nine of this, all of those cards are good to get. It's a build, building in the foundation of your financial status. Um, this card, too, relates to some of you may have gotten um, bonuses or pay raises, too. Uh, from your current employer. So I wanted to throw that in. Also to the unsettling could have been um, not only with a fire sign, but it could have been with a earth sign as well when it comes uh, to the four of wands in the reverse. And the message that I spoke about that, about something going on that was unsettling within the home environment. Um, specifically, I'm hearing about a relationship, but it could be because it's a general reading um, you know, a family situation. It could have been, you know, something, uh, two friends cohabitating and something wasn't going right or something, or there was some sort of issues um, that were taking place, but overcoming. And then uh, 
to solidify what I was saying about the unsettling um, Scorpios who are dealing with a fire sign. Now, this could represent children as well, but this is the princess of wands and uh, she's in the reverse. So this could represent some children who are fire signs that are connected to a uh, Scorpio. And then with a, a relationship, it could involve uh, some sort of unsettling uh, energy with this fire sign still uh, in terms of a relationship for some of you in the midweek. Um, that's the only thing that I'm really getting with this princess of wands in the reverse. It's, it also relates. It's not the only thing. Also, it relates to it may be. Any wands that are drawn, it relates to creativity and passion and, um, you know, being motivated. So some of you may just feel like you may not be passionate or creative and uh, feel less motivated this week. But I wouldn't pay too much emphasis on that energy. It just may be, you know, you know, a lot of stuff, other stuff going on. But the, the main important message is I'm, I'm getting the unsettling uh, related to either children that are fire signs of the water sign, Scorpio, or this could also relate to a friendship as well, that there could be a fire sign that you have a friendship with and they're, and they're coming across as being unsettling, okay? All right, so the tail end of the week I have for you, Scorpio. Now, some of you have to be mindful of your own emotions this week because something may come. You know, it may be attached to this fire sign energy with the princess because this is a court card and I see this as an actual person. So it may be that by the end, end of the week that this individual and their energy brings some sort of emotional disappointment or upsets, you know, your way. It could relate directly to another water sign like yourself, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces male or female so just be mindful Friday going into the weekend that um, there's the potential of you know either you or someone close to you dealing with some sort of emotional disappointment now because of this I also see that it could relate to those scorpions who have other water sign you know children you know, there's some sort of emotional stuff going on. Uh, the cups represents love and emotions and relationships. So it could be that Scorpio is having some sort of issue and maybe, you know, met with or deal with some sort of emotional aspects related to a relationship. Since the princess of wands is in the reverse and the five of cups is in the upright sitting next to this um, princess of wands. So going into the weekend, be very careful. Um sort of keeping control on your emotions but again it could be the energy of the other person towards you as opposed to you towards them okay or something happening uh, to you by them all right so that's your reading Scorpio the uh, messenger of Oracle card that I have selected for you is okay share your thoughts and share your thoughts um, relates to a message that you have hopes dreams and goals and ideas do not guard your ideals jealously nor keep them locked within for free i'm sorry <laughs> do not guard your ideas jealously nor keep them locked within for fear that another may steal them or offer ridicule instead of support it is time to share your vision tell great spirit and gaia of your dreams and hopes so they may send you with send you what you need Speak of your dreams to others. Connect with those who share your goals and hopes for they may be able to help you realize your dreams sooner. So I like this message for you, Scorpio. So if the reading as before, as I mentioned in last week's videos, that if the reading doesn't resonate, the direct reading doesn't resonate with you, Scorpio, then you may find something here within the Oracle card message. And this is why um, I choose to, you know, to have the Oracle cards here to support your reading and it could work both ways, vice versa. So if the reading doesn't resonate, but the Oracle card does and Oracle card doesn't resonate, then the reading may. So, but this is your reading. And uh, once again, I want to thank you for uh, visiting my channel. Uh, Scorpio, I wish you all to have a safe week up ahead. And until the next time, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.